The Supreme Court is hearing two challenges to President Biden's student debt relief plan. If the challenges succeed, the Education Department expects that borrowers will have a hard time managing their debt. Mark Meredith reports. Hey, hey, what do you say? Debt relief is here to say. Outside the Supreme Court rallies supporting President Biden's move to cancel up to $20,000 of federal student loan debt for more than 40 million people because of the pandemic. It was a bold presidential promise tied to a law Congress first passed during the 9-11 era, the HEROES Act. I voted for that bill along with 420 other members. That means the president has the power. Modified, in our view, connotes moderate change. We're talking about half a trillion dollars uh, and 43 million Americans. How does that fit under the normal understanding of modifying. Of course we acknowledge that this is an economically significant action. It's perfectly logical for Congress to broadly empower the executive to provide benefits, especially in a crisis situation or an emergency like we've seen with COVID-19. On Tuesday, the court heard arguments from a coalition of six GOP-led states looking to block the student loan relief program. Those states say they'll lose tax revenue if the debt is wiped out. I think the administration knows that if they get past standing, uh, they have a, a world of hurt coming down this mountain. And while the arguments are being held today, a decision is still expected to be a few months away, possibly as late as June. In Washington, Mark Meredith, Fox News.